I think there's no reason why Ireland shouldn't uh, be able to go back to bond markets next year. I think that uh, what we see in the bond markets is a maybe delayed reaction to uh, issues the bond markets had not been focusing on and which at this stage they probably exagger greatly exaggerating the problems related to that. What is the full extent of bank losses? If we add up the total loan losses from the end of 2007 to 2012, let's say, so to cover the whole of the inherited loan losses from, from the crisis, that adds up to 85 billion euros, or 55% of GDP. Now, a lot of that has been absorbed by shareholders, uh, both domestic and foreign, uh, and some of it, as has been laid out, is, is being absorbed by government capital injections, a total of uh, 35 billion, which we have to consider to be uh, pretty much a total write-off. Yes. Obviously, the capital injections have resulted in a jump in the debt ratio. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. But in terms of the government's uh, deficit uh, going forward and the need for correction in that deficit, that arises primarily from other sources, from the distorted tax system that emerged in the course of the uh, property bubble and the, uh, and the ramping up of expenditure that happened during the property bubble. Will the government be able to implement that six billion euros worth of budget cuts? My read is the government will deliver uh, and, and that the opposition, although they, uh, there have been different views in the opposition about the exact magnitude of cuts they would like to see in 2011 uh, in broad terms, I, think the, uh, I know that the opposition are also committed to uh, a serious fiscal correction. So if there were a change in government, uh, that would stick as well.